I'm Delta Work, and it's time for Very Delta. Christy Girlington and Linda Evangelipstick, the Chanel twins, are here. But first, do you want to see me go off? Because I think you want to see me go off! M. Oh. M. Mom! Are you a lady like me? Introspective, beautiful. Oh, are you intellectual like me? Beguiled by a bargain? You like wild times, oh, like me? Are you serving the community like me? Well, if you are, then you must be very Delta. I'm Delta Work, and this is Very Delta a luxury public access podcast and YouTube talk show where I look gorgeous, speak extemporaneously, and invite fascinating people to sit on the couch and get Very Delta. Very Delta is for the woman who loves drinking wine with her friends. But first, let's get into some things that are Very Delta. Go off Delta! I want to talk about Zillow. Do you know what Zillow is? Zillow is a lie. Zillow is a myth. Zillow is an empty promise. Zillow is a place that you visit where you dream about the impossible and they let you know with every application that it's improbable. Zillow is a service that real estate agents, homeowners, property management companies utilize to let you know that they have a property that's for sale or for rent. And I have recently used this service. I've been dreaming on Zillow for years, but I recently decided I would sort of put it into action and start utilizing it uh, in real time. So I would request tours or put out applications or uh, find out just more information about Houses that are not for sale, but for rent in my area. Because, of course, I uh, dream, just like everyone else, about owning a home. But where we are right now, where I am right now financially, and where I see, um, I don't know, my place in the world, my place in this country for the next couple of years, I don't know that making that purchase right now is something that I need to invest time in. But I've utilized Zillow, and I've... uh, made tour requests and and gone and viewed homes, talked to owners, gone to open houses, written let cover letters explaining why this property is a good fit, what I do for work, what my partner does, and my retired mother who the three of us live together in this space um, and we want to move into another space, uh, explained what we do, what we're about, showed my financials, f- explained why I'm a, a great fit, uh, at, you know, why we are a great fit. And then you just get sort of dusted. You have these conversations and they're like, thank you for the application. We'll let you know. And then no letting me know. So then I thought, all right, you know, maybe this is not Zillow's fault, but Zillow will send you a letter or an email. Did you get uh, any hear back from this property? And I'll message back. Yes, I've gone through these steps and I've heard nothing. And this is the date that they gave me where this decision would be made and they would reach back out to us, not reaching out to us at all. Then I've gone to places where uh, the new requirement is we will let you see the property once you pay for the application fee. So a pay to apply to rent this space and pay $40 for each application for each person who's over 18 in the home. So if there's going to be three of us in this dwelling, that's $120 that has to be paid for the application that may not be through Zillow because generally they'll send you a link and say, we're the property co- property management company, apply here online, send us all your financials, send us a letter. The most recent one said, send us a picture of your family and a picture of your pets, which I kind of loved. I was kind of into that. I felt like maybe it was more personal. And they said, we will make a decision on such and such date. And then we will let you know when the house is off the market. Now here's the very intriguing thing about letting you know. Nobody lets you know. I've sent follow-up messages. Finally, somebody messaged back and said, uh, on one of maybe 11 properties in a month, one said, um, 
your application was not accepted. And so I messaged back, thank you for your time. I appreciate the consideration. Uh, as a general question, could you tell me what would have made my application more desirable as a possible renter? Zero information. Now, I get it. They don't owe me. We're not in a relationship. They're not fucking me or paying my bills. However, I feel like there's a level of decorum where somebody who is bringing you in to look at a property and is courting you by saying, now we need these financials. Now may we see these other financials and read your letter and do all this to offer you a conversation of saying, thank you. We made our decision. Unfortunately, you will not be our tenant, but we will have more properties listed on this website at this time. Like that, I feel like is a fair, I don't think that's out of the realm of just being ethical. If you are, you know, I don't know, Diane's proper property, if you're like Diane's property rental company, whoever you are, like, I feel like that just that little bit of like kindness would go somewhere. But going back to these application fees. So I'm seeing these properties that have said the prop, like this one and one other one did message and say the, or posted um, on their website that the property was no longer being rented uh, or, is, or is no longer available. It's now being rented. Um, but then I went to Zillow and I can see that it's still listed there. So I'm thinking, well, this is interesting. I'm now seeing houses on here that are 45 days listed, 57 days listed, 64 days listed. Why is that? And then it dawned on me. You have to pay to have uh, an ad on Zillow, I would imagine. It's not for free. It's not, I mean, you have to pay on the penny saver. You have to pay uh, to have an ad at the hot sheet that they give out at the coin op laundry mat. You have to pay for everything. And if you're somebody who's maybe planning to sell your house, but in the meantime, maybe you want to have a renter, but maybe you don't have a renter. Maybe what you want is to have the rent paid. Well, if you get enough people who are dying to move into a house and I'm going to these places and there's in a day, 70 applicants if there's 70 applicants paying $40 an application, listen, I'm not a mathematician and I don't know the good math but uh, or the new math, but what I do know is that that sounds like it pays the rent. So if you keep your house listed and you just send some random person to show the property and everyone's paying an application fee through an agency that all you're doing is sending the application and the fee. Who says that they're looking at those applications? There's no obligation. It doesn't say we're going to video record ourselves looking at your application. It says submit your application for approval, pay this fee, and we'll look at it. They don't have to look at it. But what they do is cash that check for $40 and $40 and $40 and then $40 and then $40 and then $40. And then they add it all together and the rent's paid. So then the property just stays listed for 34 days, 54 days, 63 days. It's a fucking lie and it's a fucking scam. And I don't care who says opposite of that. If only, I don't know, on my own math, 10%, 20% of the homes are really people sending in an application and they're like, thank you. Why aren't these apps, like, why is Zillow not governing this? Why is Zillow, when I send them a message and say, no, these houses have not followed up with me? No. Well, what's the fucking point of the tour request? What's the point of the application fee? And how is Zillow not concerned about these locations that are taking applications outside of the app? Isn't the point to run it through the app? I'm like super confused on that. The other thing I'm confused about is how many people will list a property on Zillow and it will be a four bedroom, three bathroom home, 2000 square feet, pets are welcome, two or three car garage, detached, fully got this, that, and the other, and it's $1,800? No, it's not $1,800. It's no dollars because that listing doesn't fucking exist. It exists nowhere because there may be that house, but it's not for rent and it's not for sale. It's for applications only. It's for $40 at a time only. And I've sent messages to Zillow and I said, this is a false advertisement. Nothing back. I've gone to, uh, sent in a uh, request to go view or view. A, I've sent in requests to view a property and have been told by the owners, we're out of state. But if you send us just a security deposit of $500 that we will refund to you, we will give you the code to the lockbox so you can go look at it, see if you like it. And if you do, we'll put that towards your deposit. No, you won't. Because not only am I not going to do that, 
you're a liar. You're not doing that. You're not, you're, there's not going to be a code. There's not going to be any of that. They have so many scams on Zillow. By the way, go on TikTok and you can like Google the word Zillow. And if you go on and Google, you can pull up accounts of people that go look at frightening listings on Zillow. It's like, there's, I don't even know the name of the account, but there's one that's like called frightening listings. And they're just absolutely approved. And their house is with like spider filled bunkers in the middle of nowhere. And like houses with like a toilet in the middle of the living room. Like there's nobody governing Zillow at all, like whatsoever. I've used rent.com, probably the same thing, but I realized like, I don't want to go that far now. You know, my goal is, uh, you know, I'm a homosexual. I'm a homosexual. I'm homosexualis. I'm homosexualidad. I'm going to have a lot of friends who are real estate agents who put a fucking carnation in their lapel and have tight pants with no fucking shoes or no socks with their shoes. I got them. They've sat on this couch before. Okay. Those are not always the people who are looking to help you rent a place because they make their living off of selling homes. So I have people constantly that are like, well, don't you know this agent? Don't you know that? Yes, I do. I know lots of people that do that. I know a lady who works at Weight Watchers and I weigh 300 pounds. What is that going to help? It's not her responsibility to be like, I work here. I'm a, one of my best friends is a personal trainer and will fucking pick out with me. And she's like, yeah, that's what you're going to do. And that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go to the gym and you're going to lay here and watch SVU. And guess what? I love you. Oh, well, I can't help you. So just because I know people who are real estate agents, I'm tired of people being like, well, just call them. Oh, and what? Tell them you're no longer going to do commercial, commercial real estate. I want you to spend the next month helping me find a fucking rental house that has a gross shag carpet in it because uh, that's my price point. You see what I'm saying? Like people think that there's like this immediate solution. I thought going to Zillow was that solution. Here's what I think. There has to be more than not, I would think, uh, Real estate locations that say, hi, this is what we're going to do for you. You're going to pay us a fee that we set forth. You are going to sit down with our agent or somebody that works here in the office. We're going to go over all your financials and we're going to get you pre-approved for a rental. I don't want a townhouse. I want a backyard. I want to put a bottle of water and tea bags in it and make sun tea. I want to grow petunias. I want a dog running around. I want my cats to live inside. I want to be able to take out a project and spray paint it in the backyard and not think it's going to get on a car somewhere. I want my own shit. Do you see what I'm saying? And I don't think it's ridiculous to ask for my own shit and to say, where's the agency? Where is the agency to facilitate this? Because I got a ton of people sending me messages and I'm like, thank you so much for this connect. And then the person's like, oh, sorry, I don't do that. Well, can you recommend someone who does? And I feel bad even asking them because that's not their job. They didn't like someone linked me up in the conversation and linked them into the conversation. So invited them into saying like, this is now your job. Zillow is a fucking liar and they know it. They know they're lying. They know they have empty promises. They know half of those listings are fake. They know that people are taking outside applications. They know that people have those listings on there for so long, not because they can't find the right fit, but because they don't want a renter in that house. They just want somebody paying the rent and the application fees pay the rent. Do you want to see me take a break? Because I think you want to see me take a break. My guests today are drag supermodels. Please make welcome Christy Gerlington and Hi. Linda Evangelipstick. Hello, hello, hello. The dolls. We love dolls you. With balls. Dolls with balls. Wow. We love being here. Uh, I love that you're here. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. Now, I feel like we should just like address the elephant in the room. Um, <laughs> this isn't your first time here. <laughs> well... No, we had some testicle difficulties. We recorded this episode once before, but we looked different. We looked we different. We were in a different space. I think we look more gorgeous today. I think so. I have to say. I think this is 2.0. This is the very <laughs> Chanel Twins 2.0. Yeah. 
What's your go. word that I don't even know how to pronounce? Extemporaneous. Are we extemporaneous? Yeah, today? because we do it off the thin cuff. Or... We do it off the cuff. It's going to be amazing. Off we're cuff. thin, off the cuff, thinner. supermodels. We're not thin. We're thinner. Thinner. And we're in a whole new look. A whole new, a whole new look. Yeah. So work it. So and it you happens. are too. You look gorgeous. Thank you. And I appreciate you being here because I know that you know getting in drag, as, as anybody that's ever done drag, it is not uh it's not an easy thing. It's not easy. It's not a comfortable thing. A senior citizen. Especially <laughs> a senior citizen. Well, we are all about the same age. So yeah, Girl, we, yeah. we are senior citizens. I get the AARP Do you get it? Mailers once a week. And the email. Do you ever buy anything from that? No, but you get, do get a discount at the Olive Garden uh-huh. and Outback. I haven't used it yet. You haven't. I have a Christy Girlington AARP card. It is gorgeous. Where did your names originally come from? Christy Girlington yeah. and Linda Evangelipstick. I'm um, in the 90s is kind of when we came about mm-hmm. and the supermodel was everything. Right. It was so, everything. The original gang. Her favorite is Linda Evangelista. Mm-hmm. So we made it Linda Evangelipstick. And she does resemble her too. I mean, right. looks that back in the day. Yeah. No, now too. Or I mean, even now. Now all along. I mean, I you mean saw Linda the eyes and inspired this whole look. Yeah. With this the is hat and the dedication to her babushka in Vogue, the new Vogue, yeah. in Vogue which she was yeah. in. Yeah. And Christy Turlington was my favorite. She still is gorgeous. I don't think she's my. Yeah, she's one of my. Did top. you ever consider Christy Turdlington? <laughs> no. Been... We had Naomi Cowballs. Uh huh. <laughs> Cindy Crawfish. There's a story about um, your friend that sort of ins- helped inspire the names yes. and and uh, yes. Christian Farrell. Yeah, yeah. He invited us to a rave or what do you call them? A rave or back in the day it used to be in a warehouse. Kinda, yeah, like a rave yeah. restaurant or wherever. Yeah. And I happened to have two matching jackets that I got in the Santee Alley that look Chanel. Because I didn't know what size I was. And then I'm like, oh, shit, let's wear this. These are gorgeous. Yeah. And so we, we dressed as twins. And Christian Farrow was like, the Chanel twins. I love that. And, and he just here said, we are. He's like, you girls need an agent. And I mean it. So we got an agent. And we it did. It was a fluke, you know. But yeah. Total fluke. And Tell we it. ended up on Roseanne and Sally Jesse, Jerry Springer. We were in Italian Vogue, Italian shot, by Vogue. Yeah. shot by Stephen Mizell. Shot by Stephen Mizell. Crazy. And you know, n- now And it was just an outfit. Like, it had two jackets. And yeah. Look at yeah. us now. Nowadays, a lot of people do stuff <laughs> like uh, like social media, but back then, it really was about being on a TV show, and you were on yeah. all of them. You we didn't, didn't have, have social media. Anything right? to like promote yourself unless you. They had the gay rags. Yeah. Spunk. And there was that other one. There's quite a few. But any city we traveled to, they're like the Chanel twins. It was just incredible. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even have MySpace back then. No, no, not at all. (laughs) It was bizarre. I mean, that was was like we were getting maybe the introduction to AOL. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It was that, right? Dial up. When you talk about those TV shows like Jerry Springer or Maury Povich, there were so many of them. Do you have a favorite? They just found out about us. It was so strange. What was the experience like back then? Because they took a lot of liberties with people that would go on those shows. They would yeah. probably promise they one always, thing and do whatever they, they wanted. They did. They'd promise something. The and value. The second you start to air, they will push your button. Mm. Yeah. They'll ask you, oh, well, is your family uncomfortable with us? Literally, here we have the Chanel twins. Linda Evangelipstick. What does your family think about this? And mm. back then it was... Yeah, not as acceptable, you know. Yeah, it was a different time, but we enjoyed doing the talk show circuit. It was it was fun promotion, and you know, promoted our calendar mm-hmm. um, from nineteen ninety six. Yeah, so we did have our own calendar. It was like a our little marketing tool, that right? Got us, got us jobs. the supermodel thing was so yeah. popular. I'm like, we're going to do our own calendar. Yeah. And yeah. we did. You were really on the forefront of all of that, uh, of really before social media. 
as we say, promoting yourself everywhere. Do you have yeah. like a do you have a particular favorite show or a favorite experience or back then it was more about Shock well the value. gays accept you because you're in drag and it was more like are you giving them a bad reputation? But even gay bars wouldn't allow drag queens. Yeah, some of them. And were we just, just like, showed up and walked in and. They're like, wow. Can you remember spaces here in LA that were kind of yeah you numbers? Back? Really, they wouldn't allow drag queens, and we just kept going every week. And, and what would they and say? They loved us. They just knew what we were, not giving them a bad reputation. And we're and not really drag queens. We're gender illusionists, or whatever, and supermodels. <laughs> I mean, yeah, truly, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing. We we've never really performed, and you know, like then the lip sync thing. We just kind of. I don't know, before like the Paris and Nikki, you know, we're like the broke Reality version. <laughs> no, yeah. but you're, you're definitely, you're socialites. Yeah, Every, that's yeah, kind of what I'm Everyone knew and knows the Chanel twins, but well, you I did, hope. you did lip sync once. Yeah. <laughs> you Not did. Yes. What was the song? Oh, oh my God! Gosh, I don't it was even a disco song. Oh, it was enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough with Barbara Streisand yeah, and, and Donna it, Summer. Trust me, it was enough. <laughs> <laughs> we were up on a stairwell. All our friends came. They were so cute, and I was so nervous. I had stage fright back then. Now I don't. Uh-huh. But um, I was holding my microphone down here, and I had my pretend microphone here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something's and wrong I with this picture. Singing to my hand. It wasn't cute. Did yeah. you clock it yourself and like just No, I didn't know. Up? Someone told me the next day. Oh my gosh. It, was, <laughs> it made it funnier. That's what it sure. is fun. <laughs> was that here in LA or somewhere else? Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it was, was on Monica. Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, it's, some bar. It's weird how many of those bar spaces like that we changed. can remember when they were other names. Yeah. Yes. Right? And so when I reference them to people, they're like, what are I you love talking dive about? Like, What's bars. That? We love dive bars. Yeah. yeah Numbers. I mean, that wasn't really a dive bar. It was gorgeous. But Did we... you ever go to the Gold Coast? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We did that. We went to a lot of straight clubs because yes. they were, I don't know, RuPaul had come out and like everyone was kind of more, they thought it was a fun. And right. So yeah. they were welcomed us, you know. Yeah. So, we Lots of the underground clubs back then. It and was underground clubs. It's interesting club. because I think when people see such an exciting, clean, when I say clean, I mean polished version of what yes. you present, they want to be around it. They love yeah. it because it's explained to them these yeah. are supermodels. We were very fortunate. And it doesn't seem dangerous to them because no, it's not it was dangerous. It's kind of a safe, yeah, and it's non-threatening. not dangerous. You've never, you've never well, come I off that way. Well, I could be dangerous. Well, Oops. I mean, we all, <laughs> at the dive bar, we all could be. I get horny. <laughs> you do, what, do you, what do you get horny for? Oh, gosh. Okay, you know, here this. Go. Here we go. I, this uh, whole I uh, everything, I do it for the. Cock? Can you say cock? Yeah, you can say whatever you straight want. Straight cock. You like straight guys. Yeah. And they like you. They do. They it's, love you. It's a whole illusion. and I don't know. I think that I'm, addic- powerful? I'm addicted. I'm addicted. <laughs> Oops. But now it's my lifestyle. You know, yeah. we're just. Yeah. It's fun. She's a married woman. Yeah. I mean, I'm married. I. But, but we it's had, more like an acting fun right. gig, you know. It is. It is. But an there's acting power thing. in it. It's yeah, fantasy. there is. Because even though you are married, there there's still there's still people out there looking at you that are oh, yeah. that are attracted or, or, or to not maybe sexually, maybe they're just yeah. excited because it seems so fun. Yeah, no. That you you give them power to to want to dress that way to it's want a, to. It's a good. It's all good. It yeah. is. And you work, of course, as a makeup artist. Yes, she I'm does. a makeup artist. I'm an artist. I uh-huh. do. I paint now and. Yeah. Doing a lot of. um, Yeah. Let's take a break. And we are back. We are here with Linda Evangelipstick and Christy Gerlington, the Chanel twins. Hi. But you know what? Uh, we were talking earlier about the, the pre-social media. This is something that uh, you all did in 1996, oh, yes. which is super, super legendary. This oh, is the official thank you. Uh, Christy Gerlington, Linda Evangelipstick, Chanel twins calendar. Yes. And the imagery in here, the looks that you came up with, this is the cover, of course. Um, 
lavender and then a black sequin. Mm-hmm. Tell us about this photo. Legs in the air. Legs in the air. <laughs> we had to lay on the ground for two hours for them to do our hair. A hair get salon. It Laying out the curls on the You yeah. can see how floor. perfectly they're done. Yeah. Yeah. We had a collaboration with the hair salon. I don't Doyle think Wilson. Doyle Wilson. Okay. And, and our friends, Dean Kiefer and Keith Munyon, Munyon shot the were calendar. the photographers. And our our best friend, Anthony Franco, made a lot of the outfits. Now, this is uh, your own hair here. That is our own yeah, hair. Is. That yeah. is your own hair. Yeah. Grown no hair head. piece. Yeah. No hair piece or her piece at that time. Uh, okay, so this is one of the, one of the more one of these beautiful photos that made oh, it to the cover. Um, but as we go through here, and that's January, which is my birthday month, and I. Oh, oh. are you an Aquarius? I am. Yeah. Oh, oh, the disco one that you're about to. Is it this one? Keep going. That one. This I love. one. That was shot at. Tell us about Book that one. Soup. Book soup in, sunset. in what? sunset. It's still there. Yeah. yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, one of the only magazine stands. Look still at the there. legs. That was and our those, disco used, moment. That was inspired by Madonna. Deeper and deeper, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they uh, curled our hair with pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. That's a really, really like long process. It is yeah, process. I think I had but to cut. But it's a payoff. I think I had to cut an inch and a half off my hair. Yeah, afterwards. we had really damaged. But it was, hair. you know, time did for a trim. Did you just go under a dryer for that, or what did you? Yes. Do? Yeah, yes. hours. Yeah, and in the with the pipe and cleaners. the legs, we use Christmas ribbon, the gold ribbon that comes on the little spool. Yeah, yeah, we wrapped to it like, around our legs. Wow, lace it up our legs. Yeah, she was a hit. I love the lipstick. It's like uh, metallic. Bronzy oh yeah, something. it was all about the, the we shine. We wore Mac, tons of Mac at that time. Yeah. It didn't everybody? You know, they just yeah. got rid of the uh, back to Mac program. I know. Well, I know. They said they're restructuring it, oh, which yeah. okay. you know you can still take your products back, and I think we always should because right. Mac is it's good to recycle. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, there was another. I mean, I want to look at all the photos. The pool one with the cute boys. Yeah, that's the one I want to. I'm trying to. I love that one. That, that was one. shot at a uh, sex club hotel. Oh, it's like a uh, San Vicente Inn. San Vicente Inn. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, yes, it is. A hundred percent gorgeous. Legs for days. Um, yeah, that was uh, kind of like the vintage Barbie. Kind of. Uh, totally. Yeah. yeah. That's yes. cool. Yeah, yeah, you see that, but with your own take on it, which I think makes it even better. Is um, you we know. have our Chanel chameleon. What about these boys? Who do you think they Those are? Those are. Oh, I don't oh, know. Little. Gosh, they were handsome. And the- Photographers, had little some friends, boy yeah. toys with the photographer, <laughs> yeah, little darlings. Um, and then now I, I, I am noticing there's only one twin with sunglasses on. Oh, I didn't notice yes. that. Well, one has one's filing her nails, one's on her, yeah, a so yeah. cell phone, which is the twins do different things. We're I not mean, always, we exact. we're not identical. No. You're yeah. not, <laughs> I would no. think so. Who's taller? I'm taller. Christy. Uh huh. We have been best friends for, for 40 years almost. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Where did the two of you meet? I think it was at Rage. Yeah. At funny a story. Dynasty Night or something. Uh huh. It was a funny story. We we uh, we call ourselves Sisters of Fate because yes. we met and we realized that we worked at the same we worked place. At Robinson's. Robinson's Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Oh my God. But we hadn't been on the same shift, and then we ended up working together. Uh huh. And then we, we were realized our neighbors. Yeah, we lived in the same building. How crazy! 16, yeah, sixteen North Poinsettia. Yeah, we were we right were neighbors, door. and it was just crazy. And so we called ourselves Sisters of Fate. Oh my gosh, that is wild! Later, yeah. Here we are. On we the also Barry moved Delta. to L.A. on the same, same day, day. Yes, from different places. Nineteen eighty four. Yeah. Truly fate. I mean, honestly. It is fate. It, it is. She yeah. is my yeah. best friend. I love her. I Aww. love her. She's family to me. I yeah, mean, of course. Honestly. Yeah. Don't make me cry, girl. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm a crier. She does cry. <laughs> She's emotional. Take a sip of your drink. You'll stop know, crying. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a uh, sip, sippy empty, time. But... Uh-huh. What uh, what departments did you work in at Robinson's? Red. Robinson's Red Bag. Red Bag. It was Which a was new like a... thing. It was all video screens it was very fun yeah it was very fun like very 80s oh my god Mm -hmm. and it was like all the 
trendy Tumpster celebrities Tug, would come jeans. in. Oh yeah, Farrah Fawcett wait, came in. We waited on all of them. It was oh Anne gosh. Margaret. Was anyone? Marsha Brady. Was anyone Marcia mean? Brady. Huh? Was any? Were the any of the mean management? No, yes. everyone was really. Celebrities cool. were nice. Yeah. I think it was a different time, right? Yeah. It was a different time. I actually, I worked at uh, Robinson's when it became Robinson's slash May. Right. Robinson's Remember that? May, yeah, we were So that was like there. 90s. Yeah. And yeah. I worked, uh, I worked the infants department and then I worked men's. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. But what was always weird was the credit table. They would send us out to go work a credit table in the mall. Like, oh. come get a sports oh, bottle yeah. and few, you know. What oh. about this? Is this, um, July. was this for the Trump campaign or is this something <laughs> different? <laughs> Make know, America great. The nope. red. Um, no, they uh, we just tried to do something Fourth of July. Yeah. Every know? month we tried to have a theme. Sure. Yeah. And this is beautiful. This yeah. is Thank super. You. And also, you know, there's all. I feel like with the Chanel twins, it's always, um, it's it's sexy, but it's also seductive. It's romantic. Okay. It's pretty. Thank uh, you. Uh, it, we'll it's that. never presented as like uh, slutty. Yeah, it's not. I no. don't think it ever is. What, 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 now I don't know what happens we behind the doors. We didn't even have cougars but... back then. Right. And now, <laughs> thank Panther. God, no. I'm a cougar. You are a cougar? Oh, I got to look at this. Oh, though. yeah. I got to look at fun. this one. Look at that. That's gorgeous. <gasps> I too. mean, that's our real hair. Again, real hair. And that was. I don't think we wore, oh, we wore one false uh, hair piece, pigtail. In, in there, but yeah. Yeah. Everything but that was else all crimped hair. with crimper. Very rarely. Would you use a hair piece? Maybe a little something here and there, right. but it was always yeah. styled for the thing, always with your your themes in place, yes, right? That's true. I love that. I love that about that. I mean, I I, I I'm gonna try wigs one time myself. <laughs> I want to see. What about this photo? Oh, Look oh, at that wow. from the. Oh, that's not from the calendar. Wow, I, we're thin. Back. We were I didn't thin. remember doing that. Do you know these dolls? Sugar and spice. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're fun. They are fun. You just slipped that in there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was part of the calendar. I thought it was part of the calendar. I wonder if they know who the. Sh oh God, I don't know. Them. I they're. Don't know. Oh. I wonder if they know who the Chanel twins are, because their looks are very. They're very, they're always thematic. They always yeah. yeah they, and you know what's fun is um I think it's fun to either do matchy matchy or to do kind of opposites but right, right. always uh, we did that coordinated. A few times, yeah. yeah, you have done yeah. that. They you did have dark that. and light. We did right. that for a while. Yeah, she dyed her like a auburn. auburn. Yeah, mm -hmm. worked I love for a while. This. Um, they are fun. They are fun. They're spunky. And what else? And funky. Do you, are you familiar with OnlyFans? Are you familiar with what that is? I've seen it. I know what it I'm, is. Yes. People create exclusive content for like-minded people. Me, oh, you have to be on OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do. Not everyone has to be naked in it. You can yeah. just suggest whatever you want to suggest. And imagine exclusive yeah. content between the Chanel twins and Sugar and Spice, and people don't know what it is, and it doesn't even have to be sexual. It can just be No, like, they no. get sexual. Come oh, really? On. They do? On OnlyFans? Well, That's I... all it is, is sexual. Mine's not. Oh, no. It's what they want to do, right? <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> We are back with the Hello. Chanel twins, Linda Evangelipstick and Christy Girlington. Um, you said you keep forgetting the microphone, but you yeah. know your hands are full. You have a lot going on. Yeah, cocktails and gloves, just like old fans. times. Forgetting the microphone, <laughs> ring. Oh, it is just like old times. Right, it's like a lip sync performance. The one lip sync <laughs> still happening. I am a little kooky. I will admit. That's fine. That's aren't we all though? Artsy farty. We all are a little bit. I know, think we all are. Our own little way. Yeah. I get This is oh, sorry, uh, yes. the portion of the podcast where we open letters. Oh. Read me, Delta! Uh, I, I don't know. I don't see these letters beforehand. Oh, wow. Know. It's um, impromptu. Now, we also have to say that because this is a, an, this is a revisit with the Chanel twins, because yes. we did this once before, um, Two times. we are... Um, uh, this came in the mail for me today, <laughs> and it's funny. It's that it so came, gorgeous. It's funny that it came today. It is funny that it ended up in. Yeah, because last time we were bag. here, we were all packing up, and you know, there's a lot of working part, moving parts here, working <laughs> parts, 
And this ended up uh, in just because we have boxes of stuff. Well, we brought our own bar. Right. If you didn't, you notice. always travel with your own bar. And again, in your in your drink, tell us again in your drink because you told us last time, but no one saw it. Oh well, vodka, soda, and a splash of Diet Coke or Diet A and W root beer, okay. or Diet Dr Pepper. Okay. Because it is the least carbs. Okay. Okay. And vodka soda tastes like rubbing alcohol. So if you add a little splash of well, something, the vodka you drink, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, kidding. that's a whole nother show. Yeah, no. whole other show. Um, but yeah, vodka soda with a splash yeah. of diet. Well, let's see if some I of these think letters that's still vegan. If some of these letters are Similar. from vegans or people who like <laughs> diet soda, I'm a fan of diet soda. Okay. Um, What's your favorite diet soda? Diet Coke. Yes, I like yes. Diet Coke, um, but I do love. What diet... about Pepsi Light? I didn't like that. Uh, I don't. Or think Diet I... Fresca. Do you <gasps> remember uh, Pepsi with a twist of lime or lemon? They used yeah, to do isn't that, in the that 80s? Pepsi Light? Is that oh Pepsi no. Light? Yeah, with the I don't like the fruity stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what's really good? Di uh, Doctor Pepper Zero. Yes. Strawberries and cream. Oh, oh you goodness. like that fruity oh, stuff? Oh, it's so good. Okay, first Let's letter. Try. Dear Delta and mm -hmm. the twins, over oh. the past few months, over the past few months, I've discovered Diet Coke with <gasps> a fresh slice of lemon. I had no wow. idea where we were going here. Stop! I, how it I did not know this. That's funny. The irony. Recently, I went to a fast food establishment and asked for a side of lemon with my Diet Coke, and they replied, "We don't do that here." Oh, probably because of the COVID. To prevent this from happening again, I purchased a 500 count box of true lemon packets and oh. keep them keep several of them in my car. How do you feel about fresh lemon in your Diet Coke? Have you ever tried true lemon packets in your Diet Coke? How do you feel about lime? I'm uh -huh. anxiously awaiting your responses. Warm regards, very <laughs> Michael. Wow. I love lemon in okay. water. I okay. love it in a cocktail. I love iced um, tea. Oh, iced tea. tea. Yes, Does that do like that yeah. lemon? Does that would you order iced tea at a restaurant? Yeah, you do yeah. with some Splenda. Oh, that's oh, I can't do Splenda. Oh, why? I feel like it makes a cold drink taste like cardboard, but I like it in oh. hot drinks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Coffee. I like the good old fashioned. Right. What about when you go to a restaurant and you say, can I get some sweet and low? And they go, is that the pink one or the blue one? <laughs> mm. I don't like that. How color coded. Yeah. Do you like lime in any of your drinks? Um, Just iced tea, but she yeah, might. In a, in a cocktail. We do coffee with. Yeah. I like some it in my cinnamon. margarita. Oh, that's not. A margarita. <laughs> margarita, yes. That's we fruity. We should have margaritas here. I know. Sure. That sounds good. Sorry, we only it's brought It's the vodka. time for it, too. It, it really is. is the time for it. I mean, it's we're, we're, we are like running into the summer. Well, I'm not running, I'm sitting into the summer. <laughs> I and I summer. love a tahine rim. Oh, you do? Ooh. You like you like rimming? <gasps> With yeah. Bloody Marys. <laughs> Bloody Marys. Yes. Um, I'm I'm okay. all for this five hundred count box of true lemon packets. I wow. do I buy them myself. If you ever you go do? to Dollar Tree, yeah, get them from Dollar Tree. Yeah. I have a uh, friend that uses those. And they're great. And it's really it's crystallized yeah. lemon. Yeah. So it's a it's the real thing. Uh, very it. Michael, I think you are on the right track with that. I love, love, love. And the Chanel twins also love lemon. Yes, we Why do, honey. We? Yes. Yeah. Do you like lemon chicken? Yeah. You, yes. you can't eat it. No, I mean, I None like that. You. I like it. I don't eat I, it right you've now. You've known Loco, to like it. Pollo Loco does pineapple, which I hate, but they marinate their chicken in pineapple. What do you mean you hate pineapple? I, I don't, I don't know. It's a whole nother show. Were you more allergic than? I did have allergic Oh. She, anything that's got like acidic citrus, citrus, I get hot flashes. Yeah, she are never... twins known to have the same allergies? Does that a th is that a thing? Um, yeah, I think some or some don't. I don't know. Huh. Some are, some aren't. Do you have any similar allergies or similar um, foods you don't like? Do you like horseradish? Oh, I, I do. I love horseradish. Yeah. Really, you do? She, yes. we both. Like, I don't do raw fish. I think though. pickles are a you. big thing. Pickles, we both love tacos, pickles. <laughs> nachos, pickles, everything. Yeah, yeah. I have a yeah. recipe for a fried dill pickle dip. Oh, my oh, God. yum! It's a dip, but it's like fried. I've seen that at oh. a, uh, I think like Trader Joe's. Or something. I just uh -huh. got the Trader like Joe's dill really pickle good. salt. I can't wait to. Oh, have I it. just saw a thing about that. I want to try it. Let's yeah, do it yeah. on popcorn. That's Ooh, my that night. Good. Yeah. Every night I have microwave popcorn. 
olive oil, and I do Lari seasoning. Uh huh. I like the. But I want to try the taco from Trader Joe's. I just bought it yesterday. Huh? What else did your fans say? Someone (laughs) asked, uh, "Dear Delta and guest, when it comes to syrup on your breakfast, Uh is it very Delta or very Chanel twins?" Oh. To allow syrup to touch your eggs, bacon, and or sausage, or just the pancake. Ooh. Warmest regards, very Joe. He wants to touch my sausage. Yeah, with his syrup and your pan- <laughs> and your pancake. Um, I I don't have a sweet tooth. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind if it runs onto my bacon because it's sweet and salty. Yeah, because they usually like an applewood smoked bacon. Yeah, or sweet that, and or salty. Hickory. Is yeah, yummy. I don't mind yeah. it like that. I like salty. Salty. It doesn't have to hit my eggs, but... Right. Um, yeah. Do you do fry... When you have your eggs cooked, how do you like to have them cooked? Say it like it's just a restaurant for breakfast. I like over medium. Over, medium. over easy. When I'm... When I was eating, eggs. and you would do them with like to- oh, dip yeah. the toast she doesn't in eat it or eggs whatever anymore. Oh, I do love what? dipping, like the, dipping toast. the toast in yes. the egg yolk, toast and bacon, and okay. the yolk. or a breakfast sandwich where the egg bursts and mm. you like it when it busts in your mouth. <laughs> Why am I being? <laughs> 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 yeah. I love when it busts. Bust, I okay, so I would like for many of these things to be on separate plates. Yeah, oh, I have a friend like that. Child, I was like that. I like that. You need that little. Plate that has like the sections. Yes, <laughs> but um, oh. I have to have my eggs either over hard, okay. or I've also heard it called under hard, which I'm not sure which is which. But your eggs or your dates? Th- both. Oh, okay. both. Um, over hard is always good. I like a man who knows that um, I don't want my, I don't want runny yolks, and I definitely don't want maple syrup in them. Well, there if you he go. knows that, oh. that's the way to my heart. How about when they want to do it on your face? I think that's fine. Real? Oh no, I spend in I mean, full makeup. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't want. No, it's not going. They on my pay face. for an experience, so you know in advance what they're paying for, right? They might pay for your experience. Yeah, I have a sheet that I give out um, to any any clients, and then it has it, it has a diff, a bunch of roses on the top, so they know. Oh, roses. Uh huh. Yeah. And of course, in my bio, it says um, it'll say in my bio. Um, Rich to the front of the line, generous with a dollar sign to the front of the line, mm. and then it, there's like a little thing. So like you know when you get a pedicure and you're like it'll say basic pedicure, right. paraffin wax. Mm-hmm. Like there's add-ons. There's an add-on there for ruining the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> there is. You should. You should. I, I love know. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I and of course well, we talked about this before too. There's a price for the hour, mm-hmm. and the right. price for the half is very close to the price for the we hour. We did get a lot of offers. Yeah. In that realm. Yeah. How I much? did make a thousand dollars with a celebrity. But I he has two names. I can't mention it. Oh, you can't. <laughs> he has two names. No, I can. Um he's a n- comedian. <laughs> no, he's a n- comedian. Okay. She, we both she been likes with the similar uh huh comedian. And what um, and, and can you give us more description or well, it wasn't my fantasy to. We got a cheap motel in actually where she used to live, ironically. When I first moved here. Uh huh. Nomad Motel. It was in Culver we City. We drove to Malibu, which was my Oh, the my Nomad. Yeah. Oh, Century uh-huh, City. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That was my fantasy. They were sold out. So we went to where Linda lived at one time. Mm-hmm. And, uh,. He wanted to get down to the nitty gritty, but it wasn't my fantasy. Mm-mm. The so I said, gritty. if you want tomorrow or any night in the future, we can make a plan. And and did it happen? It didn't happen. He said he gave me a thousand dollars. He was in the moment. That's probably he why. said, I want you to buy a fishnet bodysuit for me tomorrow and I will call you get a hotel of your choice. And if I happen to not call, it's because my wife made plans. So he did give me a thousand dollar tip. It was pretty generous. Yeah. Did you buy he, the fishnet? I did. I went to the Beverly Center, Victoria's Secret, and bought a. Fi- <laughs> I can't. I'm like, I can't believe I'm here buying an outfit for a <laughs> comedian. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. He was out very horny, I, and he butter, wanted to butter. do it. 
He wanted to do it right then. You know what my fantasy is? What? Can I tell you my fantasy? I want to know what's thought, in this box. <gasps> oh, there is a fantasy Ooh, for you. Because this box showed up and- Look how beautiful it's it is wrapped. It is beautifully wrapped. It is your fantasy, I believe. And it has my name on but I'm not going to be presumptuous, but there, my name is on the card. That is for you, my love. Can I really open it? Yes. yes. That's from the Chanel Twins. I think that is your fantasy. It is my fantasy. I, anything beautifully wrapped is my fantasy. And that, um, and your little I, card opener. I, I'm also still thinking about this comedian because I remember tons of comedians that would come to, well, and actors that would come to like Peanuts. Yeah. And they had no, it was like, it, it, what's weird is that like it was, they were so publicly there. Right. And you would think if you're trying to be so down low, but there was no was social just, media. It was, it was just like, a different time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There, you were just like maybe somebody might get a picture, yeah. and they could we be like, oh, this and no one had comedian. cell phones to take pictures, right? And all that stuff. We know? met him at the Yukon Mining Company. Remember that? Oh yeah, that was the tea. Yeah, every Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. There should they be a document. They did have good food. We need a documentary about the Yukon. Yeah, they should have one. Yeah, because oh, everybody was there. This is a card from. Um, Christy and Linda. Yeah, I'm, re I'm just noticing that like there's oh. an add-on here. Oh, the your. Did you? You, you did are do that? yours. I did. You are so very. Did you make this card? I yeah, I did. <laughs> I made the one previously too. That. We lost. But wait, how do you do? Well, I'm trying to understand. I'm very crafty. You are she crafty. Let's not get into it. She's we the crafty are so twin. Very proud of you. We are Thank so you. very are. proud of you. I You're told you wonderful. that last time. Yeah, you did. We mm -hmm. talked about this, uh, but you know, I how I, honestly, did we meet? I don't remember. Uh, honestly, it must have been Yukon. We're or talking about Yukon or Club peanuts. Seven Nine Six Nine. You know, nobody. Uh, that's interesting because we know it as Seven Nine Six Nine, and the building yeah. is still there. Didn't yeah. Heidi Klum? Have her Halloween party there, and somebody famous Lots bought it. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, Seven. Club Illusions. You know, there was or Club Illusions. Yeah, but there was like uh, and Drag Strip sixty six, Cinematic, Michelle's Triple X yeah. Review. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there oh, were so many different Michelle. things, and you there were was. always the backdrop of everything that happened in L. A. The both of you were at events, Ugh. and almost unicorn ish because people would never Corn. say. Corny? Corn? No, that's my word. Corn. Everything's corn. Everything is corn. Popcorn. Popcorn. With dill pickle seasoning. <gasps> but go. people would always corn dog. know you, obviously, as um, as mainstays, but also as socialites. So what made you like unicorns is you would never know when you were going to see the Chanel twins. And it was like a blessing when you did see them because, you know, people would always be able to access any other drag queen because they would go oh they always perform there on Fridays yeah. oh they always mm -hmm. perform here on Tuesdays but the Chanel twins would just show up without any <laughs> announcement and that really makes you like unicorns to me Okay, because you're like did you see them did you see them and then they were gone I love being a unicorn you are corn corn okay hole. open your gift mm -hmm. you know what am I talking about oh I do love a good corn hole you do yeah. would you put dill pickle in a corn hole a pickle <sighs> I put coconut oil in a cornhole. In your cornhole? Not mine. In somebody else's. <laughs> Not mine. I don't know how uh, I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it. I don't wow. put any food in people's <laughs> cornholes. Do you? <laughs> no. But no. Uh, Ra you should ask Raja oh, about that. She's oops. got a lot of stories about A lot of about stories about mm -hmm. She used to live across the street from me. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. She was what? On Olive Drive. She was also behind uh, Circus of Books. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Vaseline Alley. Now she's in Koreatown. Yeah, she's got a great place. Yeah. She likes to brat. Oh, oh what God. did you get? Okay, I don't know, because I wrap <gasps> things in boxes sometimes that are not. Oh, that's true. But you know, look like at that paper. Box. Isn't that gorgeous? The paper is stunning. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. We picked it out just for you, because you I'm are so very Delta. But what if it's just the box? That's what I'm saying, because not... I wrap stuff in sh I save shoe boxes. <laughs> and I'm kind of mad at myself for tearing the ribbon because I saved ribbon. Oh, Aww. my grandma used to do that. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, I heard that was your favorite pineapple this is a upside pineapple down. pineapple upside down cheesecake. It is from gorgeous. From the fucking Cheesecake Factory. And it weighs like 20 pounds. It does. I, well, and I only weigh 120. So if I eat <laughs> all of this. 
Can you imagine I'll be at oh 140? I don't think I'd be able to model anymore. We did bring you forks because I know that's... Oh, we don't need more than one fork. What would we need more than well, one fork? Well, it's your thing to if they don't serve you without a fork oh, oh, at are the you fast suggesting food restaurant. This? No, no, it's all yours. Oh, I need somebody to take this immediately to the refrigerator, and yeah. then I need them to duct tape the box closed. Oh, I also <laughs> so brought another I'm not... treat. Oh, you did? I mean, we did. Yeah. Let me see. What is it? Oh my God! They're <gasps> Jello shots. They are alcohol infused. Do we need to jello do Jello shots. shots right now? We do. Yeah, we do. I think so. What Ooh. color do you want? Who wants what color? Oh. There's a ton in here. There's orange. There's blue. I guess blue is not a color. I, that I name. like pink. Okay, so pink is going to be peachy strawberry or something. Uh, vodka. I can't. Oh, that's cherry. <laughs> vodka. The so you want a word. cherry one? Sure. Do you want strawberry? Sure. I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to do... Um, blue. Yeah, I'm going to do... I think it's supposed to be a raspberry, maybe. Blue raspberry. Ooh, yeah. remember the icy? That was one of my favorites. Did you... What's what's your favorite um, icy? Um, I think I like the... I can't do this. Cola Gloves. one. I'm oh, I'll sorry. open it. Oh, cola, yeah. Yeah. You like the cola flavor? Do you ever mix them? I think I've had that before. Yeah. yeah, I used to like to mix the blue oh, and the red. I have such fond memories of icy. I know it's hard to do, isn't it? I'll get yours. As a child. Uh oh. Oh, you're, is it squirting? She's lactating. Yeah. Here. <gasps> oh, oh, it's Linda. fine. I'll get it. We need a. Uh, I have a. Link. The cleaners come uh, at four o'clock. So, oh. is yours open, or do you want me to open it for you? Thank you. Halfway. Wow. Halfway. Just squirting out. Oh no, <laughs> she's squirting. Uh oh. We got a squirter. So we're supposed to put our finger in here, I think, to loosen it, right? But oh you know what Lord. I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Do you I'm want me to do that to you? Whole. You're going to swallow it whole. I try. Okay, ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers to the Chanel twins. Cheers. Very Delta. Mmm. Mmm. I swallowed it whole. Mm -hmm. You did. Oh my God, that's delicious. Ooh. It is good. This was a, a birthday great. gift. Mm. <laughs> oh. Clean that it. The lipstick? No. I caught it just in time, though. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm just making a I mess. Mean, You're gorgeous. We'll pat. We'll patch it up later. I yeah. think Ush, you got a little Is it like on your lip. You're oh so jello. Oh, she has her own. Oh contact. yeah. I that think it'll be fine. pretty yummy, right? I think it's great. Thank you for this. Thank you for my gift. You're of welcome. This is so thoughtful. These jello shots, I think this is the first time I've ever done a jello shot on camera. <laughs> what about a cheesecake? I've never had a cheesecake gifted no. on camera. Never. Never, well, ever, except ever. Except for our first, first shoot. Oh, uh, well, we, we're, we're reimagining <laughs> today. We are reimagining your fantasy. Um, oh. Thank you for being we here. We love you so much. We're so, you so proud so of you for, for and for having us. My yes. goodness. I love you for all that you have set forth. You know, in, when I was growing up in drag, it was about the supermodel. It was always yeah. about the supermodel. Yeah. And, um, you know, most people know, obviously, when they when they relate drag, they relate drag to RuPaul the supermodel. But I always right. knew the Chanel twins. Yeah. I always oh, knew of the you. Chanel twins. This was a time, I feel like, before people were really concerned with, like, padding. And we wanted yeah. to look oh, yeah. as, we wanted to look as, a, like, authentic as possible, yeah. if that right. made sense. And I'm not knocking anyone's padding or anything yeah, like no. that. I'm just saying it was where we were at the time. Yeah. We just... Run named away. ourselves gender illusionists. Right. We're not drag queens. We are giving you the illusion of a different gender. Right. That and I love that. Of kind of like, yeah. And, and I love supermodel. That. Yeah, it was nothing really campy, but we were just, It is know, fun to do a little campy. Straight off the runway, okay? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that was... Our, our it thing. was big back then, you know. It was a big deal, and I was always raised around people that like we. It, it was a thing, like you know, coming up with Raja and yeah. and and even anyone out there. It's like you could be whoever you wanted. When you talked about um, coming up with your drag name, um, I remember at the time I How was. How did still, you get Delta? I was doing Work. contests. Do you remember DJ Wes? Yes. Yeah. I was doing Wes's contest, and Mama was the host. Oh yeah. And they were also doing a different night happening. Uh, during the week. Was that at Circus? Uh, this time it was at Ripples in Long Beach. Oh, yeah. Oh. So they were doing a Ladies of the wow. 80s night, and right. Mama said uh, that 
we need a, a Delta Burke. Like we we need somebody to do Burt. for our for our designing women. Right. And she's like, maybe this new little girl over here can do it. And I was like, yeah, I would love to do it. And I had no idea what it was or no anything. Way. You and didn't then, even have Delta work. No, oh, I had wow. my. I was just going by my real my my given name, which is Gabriel. Oh, okay. And. Oh. Um, Mama was like, oh, you did such a good job. You really worked it, Delta. Like, you are like Delta wow. Burke, but you're Delta Work. Wow. wow. That's where Mama. it came from. Oh, that's from so Mama. cool. So oh. I think about the people that gave us Hi, our Mama. names. Hi, Mama. Great yeah. story. Who needs to be here, right? I know. We had a she drag does. sale not long ago, and Mama came and sold stuff, and I bought a bunch of her costumes. I wanted to do a photo oh, shoot in her costumes. Fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. Yeah, it would be so fun. Bob anyway. Mackie, a lot of her costumes I, remember were EC2, Bob Mackie. Remember EC2, where she yes, worked? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's sick. Ooh, that's, that's sick. Very but fun. thank you um, for oh, all that you've you. done, and oh, for and you. also for literally coming back here so <laughs> yes. we can revisit what we lost. Which you know, right, right. I oh, think no. it's even better. I we love, love it being so on much. your thank show. You. Thank you. Um, you can search for Very Delta on your podcast apps. We come out every Monday, and you can find us here on the Mom Podcast YouTube channel. Also, a special hello to everyone watching the show on YouTube. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for checking us out, staying up till Hi, midnight. Friends. Yeah, you know, some people stay up at midnight because it comes out, the episode will oh, come wow. out on oh. Sunday night at midnight. Wow. Or if when they, does this come out? It's a coming out weeks? like, it's like ASAP. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's coming out ASAP. Um, and also, we want uh, you to subscribe to the Mom YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Also, you can send all of your questions to readmedelta at gmail.com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Delta Work. And where can we follow both of you? We're on the Chanel Twins. Chanel on Twins Instagram. on Instagram. Uh, C H A N E L L oh. Twins. Christy Girlington. I think there's an underline You're, on uh -huh. the Instagram. Yeah. And in the Linda Evangelipstick. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, yes. honestly, whenever people. We are easy. Search. You are not easy. <laughs> <laughs> you can well. also follow the show on Instagram and TikTok at Very Delta because if you're not, really, you're only getting half the Delta. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us right here. And next Thank week, join so us much. again. And until then, keep things very Delta. Love you. Bye. Bye, friends. This episode of Very Delta was brought to you by Orange Diamond, the official emoji of the Very Delta show. To listen to Very Delta one day early and ad-free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcasts.plus. Very Delta is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Hosted by Delta Work and produced by Mark Jacobs. Engineered by Margo Padilla and editing by Doug Robertson. Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio. Hi, it's me, Delta Work. Do you like to see me go off? Well, if you do, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, because we don't want you to miss any of our mom podcast exclusive content.